Hello, welcome back to Brand Switch Lamb Learning. In this episode, I want to show you kind of like an extension of another geometry nodes. So the other day, I was following this video tutorial by Johnny Matthews on how to distribute points on a mesh, inside a mesh. So this is uh, my result. So in my versions, instead of using a leaf texture, I'm using um, a flower petal. It's actually like a cherry blossoms or sakura petal. And the petal is looking something like this. So this is the instance. And this petal has been colorized. So for each petal that I scattered inside this 3D mesh of uh, Twisted Taurus, they're gonna have a different color. Okay, so if I, sh if I show you the original, so the original original is just like a sakura petal. Uh, it has transparency. So this this image texture I grabbed from Google Image. The alpha goes into the transparency alpha of the principal BSDF, and the color we get a variations from this object info. Random goes into hue, and into color overlay. So as a result, as combination of it, we get this. Uh, colorful result okay maybe I should plug it differently but uh, you can play around with this maybe use multiply if you really want to yeah maybe yeah whatever this could be just the overlay so let's um, actually uh, study this a little bit further so I in this case I started with this twisted torus uh, or a torus knot and the geometry nodes is looking like this this is very much what Johnny is showing us so this is Johnny Matthews point inside mesh so it grabbed the geometry and then instance uh, some points on the geometry inside of the geometry and then you scatter the petal so if you want to bring this to another file uh, I'm gonna show you file import or actually append we can use append and we can point into the blend files Johnny Matthews distribute points and then we go inside the node tree we can just grab the nodes so this guy actually will bring the pedal okay so the pedal is there it's, it's ready to be used okay it has a funky color yellow color Maybe I will create a sunlight. So let's say I want to save this writing petal. So I want to write with this flower. Since we already have a point inside mesh, let's say we, we're going to use a curve and we're going to create a Bezier curve and then go to edit mode using tab, select all, delete vertices we're gonna draw some curve set to surface so let's say we, we want to write like hey or something okay this this curve currently uh, needs to be converted into geometries and we want to apply the the pedal so this is gonna be super quick and simple First of all, we want to resample it into point. So curve to points comes in handy. You see some points scattered on the points, on the on a curve. Uh, point to volume, volume to mesh. So you know the drill here. Let's change the radius. So we have points on a curve. We can base it on the counts per curve or we just use the length. Okay. I think 0 0.1 should be okay. Play around with the radius. And yeah, if you really want to, you can continue drawing because this is like a curve. So you can continue drawing while it's already set to surface. You can kind of 
draw on top of it. So you can be very creative and free form in what you're doing. Okay, before I go too far, what really want to do with this setup is to bring in the GM point inside mesh. Okay. You see what's going on? If I increase the number to 100,000, it's gonna be scattered on top of the, the writing. So, very quickly we end up with this Sakura petal. Uh, let's give it the sky texture, daytime, nighttime. Let's see. Turn on the noising. Increase or oh, just bring the sun up a little bit. It is too bright at the moment, so maybe under color management, filmic. Just reduce the exposures. We have double sun happening. That's basically the idea. So if we go back to this shader of the pedal, yeah, we can yeah, bring in more of the pedals, reduce the exposure a little bit more. So somehow the, the sunlight is super bright on this on this pedal. Yeah, probably something something like that. If you want to use subsurface scattering, yeah. Anyhow, so we have end up we end up with this jumble up pedal. Um, I guess we can go to edit mode, delete everything once again. Try again. Right. Hell. Low. Okay, maybe the geometry nodes might need to be adjusted here with radius. Too small. Increase the voxel. To be to be really safe, I mean, just maybe just scale the writing itself. Increase the voxel or the count to two hundred thousand. If it start leaking, you can adjust the threshold. should be okay now we have this petal flower that's writing this cursive message okay so it's pretty simple if you really want to make more adjustment you can go inside and here this is the setup from Johnny Matthews of course uh, you gotta study his video yourself but basically the scale of the petal is controlled over here you can make this smaller maybe also go back up increase the radius So yeah, that's basically the whole setup, um, how you can extend uh, the setup from Johnny Matthews. Um, this is like a topiary with different shapes, so you can use any other shapes if you really want to. If, you, if you're familiar with Sphere Chalk, you can also use the Taurus Knot and I haven't used Sverchok for a while. It's really, really powerful. I always mention it. So this is Taurus Knot. Let's see. Make it cyclic. Let's create something a little bit funky. So 
So this is a curve, right? Let's just merge. This curve object, if you have radius, it's gonna treat it as a mesh, which is which is okay. Uh, but you can you can also treat it like a curve if you turn off the radius. It seems to be disappearing. It's it's still there. But we can apply geometry nodes that we just created. Okay, maybe to to prevent anything funky, just turn it into mesh, and we get our curve. This should be GM point inside mesh. This set up to to twenty thousand. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, you got the idea. It's fair chalk working with geometry nodes is really really cool so there you go that's the sakura petal scattering and writing using petals using johnny mario setup so you need to do this is the prerequisites of the video tutorial it's only 10 minutes around 11 minutes and then you can extend it to whatever you like all right so thanks again johnny matthews for the video tutorials and hopefully this is useful and i'll see you next time thank you bye